Hi and welcome to another video. This is going to be a very brief editing video for e-commerce type photography. Uh, while most e-commerce photography is still, you know, on a plain white background, sometimes you will see images like these where they have placed, for instance, a belt on a white cube. Um, and it is possible that you have one of those cubes, but it's also possible that you do not. So I didn't have a cube and I did this. I photographed the belt on a bookshelf which is mm, not as good as a real cube, but let's create a cube. So what do you need to create a cube? You just need two layers, a mask, a little bit of feather and a gradient tool. Okay, let's get started. So let's first add a layer, let's call it left side. So that will be the left side of the little box. Then another layer, right side. So there we have it, good. For the left side, uh, that's gonna be this side if you don't know what left and right is. So let's drag down a layer, not a layer, a guide. Okay, let's put it a little bit higher to here. Let's uh, grab another guide to here and to here. I want that intersection to correspond to the actual, you know, corner of this bookshelf. And you see that this bookshelf has a little bit of a bevel. So that's nice. Come on, okay, whatever, good. Then the next thing is the polygonal lasso tool. Click, 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 and double click to close the loop. And that's it. That's what you need for the left side. Let's make a layer mask. Just click on this little add layer mask icon. And there you have it. Then we need a gradient tool. Um, and you need a foreground color and a background color, which ideally you just pick from your actual, you know, product or bookshelf or whatever. So in my case, it is a light gray, 224, 224, 225 for some reason. Let's make that 224 as well for the sake of uniformity. And then the background color is 189. Okay, and then all you have to do is click and drag and release the click or something. How do you do that? Click, hold, drag, and then release. Okay, so there you go. That's the left side of your bookshelf. It looks good all right then we need the right side so let's click on the right side layer and let's do exactly the same thing now this time we have to stop here or thereabouts so let's drag down another uh, guide and i'm not going to put it exactly there because in the end i will be applying a little bit of feather because this doesn't have a bevel so i need to feather it to make it look a little bit realistic so i'm going to put it a little bit higher so that if I apply my feather, I am not revealing any of that unfinished uh, side of the, of the bookshelf. So, and for the same reason, I'm going to actually put this guide a little bit higher. There we go. Let's take the same lasso tool, click, click. Let's go a little bit outside of the area because you don't want to go straight down. If you go straight down and you apply your feather, you will get a little gap between the left and the right side of the um, box. Oh, I should have double clicked. Let's do it now. Okay, double clicky. Let's do a layer mask. This is the right side. And then we'll do exactly the same thing with the gradient tool. And we'll try and find something that looks kind of good. Okay, something like this could, could be good. But you have a bit of a hard edge. So let's apply a little bit of feather. Not too much, just two, three, four. Let's go with three pixels. Zoom out a little bit and you can see that, well, maybe you cannot see it on YouTube, but there is a little bit of um, that piece sticking out here and that's because I need to rearrange my layers in a different sequence so that my right side layer is underneath the left side. Okay, that looks good. Did I apply some feather to the right side? I did. To the left side, I did not. So let's give that three pixels of feather as well. And there you go. Let's do a clear guide. And this looks like a fairly convincing box. Anyway, so it's a very simple technique. All you need is the gradient tool, uh, some masking, a little bit of feathering, and that's it basically. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this technique may one day be of use to you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.